As we all know, at the end of 2016, Nico Rosberg retired a world champion, just about beating longtime rival Lewis Hamilton. But then, very surprisingly, he decided to retire. A very sudden and shocking decision. But what if something different happened? What if Nico Rosberg decided to not retire and drove for Mercedes in 2017 and 2018? Find out in this video to see what could have happened if he never retired. Before we get into what could have happened though, let's start off with what did happen. As we all know, Nico Rosberg won his only world championship at the 2016 Abu Dhabi Grand Prix in a very, very tense finish to that season. And then just a few days later, he decided to retire, leading Mercedes to replace Rosberg with Valtteri Bottas for 2017. And up to now, Rosberg has remained in retirement. But now let's start off this scenario. What would have happened if Rosberg never retired? Well, let's first cut to 2017. Now, Rosberg was definitely going to stay with Mercedes and Bottas still would have been at Williams. But to see how Rosberg would have done against Lewis Hamilton in 2017 and 2018, let's compare Rosberg and Bottas's record against Lewis Hamilton. So first off, this is Bottas in 2017. In 2017, he outqualified Hamilton seven times and outraced him eight times. That's not actually that bad, considering how great of a driver Lewis Hamilton was during that season. But then Bottas compared to Hamilton in 2018 was nowhere near as good. He did outqualify him six times, but only outraced him three times. Hamilton has quite frankly dominated Valtteri. But now this is how Rosberg did against Hamilton in his final couple of seasons. First off in 2015, he outqualified Hamilton seven times and outraced him also seven times. Now Lewis was definitely better than Nico in 2015, but that still is not that bad from Rosberg. And then in 2016, he outqualified Lewis eight times and outraced him ten times. Despite, in my opinion, Rosberg getting a bit lucky in 2016, it definitely was his best season ever in F1. So in 2017, how would have Rosberg done in the title fight? Now, 2017 is remembered as a two-way title fight between Hamilton and Vettel. But if Nico Rosberg was involved in that, it for sure would have been a three-way title fight to the very end of 2017 and would have been also a much better championship battle. Now, if you compare Lewis Hamilton, the eventual champion in 2017, to the previous season where Rosberg beat him in 2016, Lewis for sure in 2017 had improved, and I think would have been a tougher opponent for Rosberg than he was the previous season. But without a doubt, it would have been very, very close. Just like it was between Hamilton and Rosberg in 2014 and also 2016. But this is how I think the top four in the Drivers' Championship would have been if Rosberg did not retire. I think Lewis Hamilton would have just about won the title, but I think Rosberg would have been close behind in second, and most likely the title decider would have gone to Brazil or Abu Dhabi, instead of where it was in Mexico. It would have been epic to see Hamilton, Rosberg and Vettel in a three-way fight in 2017. Personally, I think it would have been a great battle and right up there with the best battles of all time. I guess though, just what could have been? Then we come to this season that has just ended 2018, where Lewis Hamilton again has won the World Championship. But where would have Nico Rosberg been in this equation? I'll be honest, I don't think Nico would have won the title in 2018. Lewis this season has been just too, too good. And I just don't see how Rosberg would have been able to beat him. Would Rosberg have been closer to Hamilton than Bottas was this season? Of course he would have. But with the way that Lewis has been in 2018, I don't see how a Vettel or a Verstappen or a Fernando Alonso in the same car would have beat him. That's just how good I view Lewis's season. But for 2018, these are the top four positions in the Drivers' Championship again if Rosberg did not retire. I think Hamilton would have won it with Vettel in second and Nico Rosberg in third. I think Vettel would have just about beat Rosberg because the Ferrari car was a lot faster compared to the Mercedes in 2018 than it was in 2017. But between those two, it still would have been close. But if Rosberg at the end of 2016 never retired, there would have of course been ripple effects down the grid. And I'll go through some now. First off, Valtteri Bottas would have stayed at Williams. 
as before the final race of 2016, Williams actually announced their lineup for 2017, with the at the time being Valtteri Bottas and Lance Stroll. And I think that probably would have been the Williams lineup until the end of 2018. But if Valtteri did stay at Williams, I think for 2019 he would definitely leave, because of just how bad that Williams car now is. Also, Felipe Massa would have never returned for a final season in 2017, and his career would have ended when it should have. Sergio Sorokin most likely would have not been on the grid for 2018. I don't think they would have gone for him over Stroll or Bottas. And if Bottas did leave Williams for 2019, which I think he would have, then I think Sergio Perez might be looking right now for a new team. Maybe a team like Haas F1. It definitely would have been interesting to see where Perez would have gone if this did happen. Maybe, who knows, he would have gone back to Sauber or gone back to McLaren. Who knows where he would have gone. Now remember guys, when coming up with your own what-if scenario, this is very important to remember. One slight alteration to the past has a knock-on effect for absolutely everything. Or in other words, the butterfly effect. If you change one thing, then dominoes just keep on falling. So please remember this when coming up with your own what-if scenario, which I want you guys to do in the comment section down below. But it has been interesting to theorise what would have happened if Rosberg never retired. I don't think, by the way, Rosberg is ever going to come back. He doesn't really have a reason to. He won the World Championship. That was his dream. And for him, after winning that, there is nothing left to accomplish. So I think Rosberg will stay retired. But when it comes to what if Nico Rosberg had never retired from F1, it's always fun to dream of what could have happened. But anyway guys, that has been it for this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Don't forget guys, my next video will be out tomorrow, a season review for Lewis Hamilton and Sebastian Vettel. As well, don't forget to join my Discord server, link below in the description, also with my Twitter and my website. Comment down below what you thought of this video and comment down below what do you think about this what if scenario. And what do you think could have happened if Rosberg never retired. Please comment down below what you think about those topics and until next time it's been me Chazzer HD. goodbye.